Welcome back to episode two of Commissary Cook-Off. My stomach ache finally went away from last week, so we're gonna run it again. <clears throat> Today we got Cliff Panazish going against the home team, Ian Bick. We've got way more ingredients, as you may be able to tell, but apparently these have all been okayed by the Prison Federation of Food. That's real, look it up. The rules will remain the same. You've got 10 minutes to use any and all of these ingredients to cook the best meal that you can. You better make it good, because I've been drinking and when I don't get to eat, I get fussy. Let the games begin. This week, the stakes are a little higher. Loser has to eat these hardwood smoked raw, disgusting oysters, eat a clove of garlic, and pay my car note. Let's get it on. Glad to see you decided to wear a shirt this week. Thank you, sir. I almost lost my appetite last week, so. I got a lot of bad reviews. I have to get a suntan uh, this summer, that's for sure. <laughs> Any tan will do. It doesn't have to be the sun. I'm in my prison tees now, and I I'm ready to cook my heart out. It almost out. looks like you're still not wearing a shirt. I'm coming back from a tough loss last week to JD, but I feel like I really refined my cooking skills, practiced a lot, ate a lot of ramen noodles these last few days. I'm ready to rock out with my <laughs> out. Let's go. Please keep your <laughs> in your pants, though. It is part of the rules. What about you, Cliff? You ready to rip? Oh, I'm ready to do this. You know, Ian's been talking for a couple of days. He's about to go down. I don't care how, how big of a cook his, his father is. That shit don't matter in the prison system. It's about to go down. All right. You boys all ready to cook? You know the rules. No stabbing one another, no fighting. And it better be delicious. Please, I have to eat this. For the love of God, make it good. All right, boys. Let's go. What are you cooking over there? I don't know. I don't know where uh, Colin and Ian did time here, but in Ohio, this is how we did it up. Yeah, straight to the microwave. All right, we're boiling some water. Ian is getting busy with some slim gin. I am making prison nachos today. Oh. Amateur hour. Amateur hour. Amateur he really hour. He likes his chips and dip, as you can tell. I'm really gonna go bring the gold home on this one today. Okay. Learned from my steaks last week. I'll be okay. We got whole baby clams. Oh, oh, oh. looks like we're gonna run into an issue with this can opener. Yeah, we, uh, that's for sure happening. Food we actually get in prison, they refuse to even sell in stores because it's so bad. Really? <laughs> so it's not this standard? No, this... it looks like this. Everything comes in a, in a package. So Cliff, is this a common meal you would make while you were you know, truth, truth, truth be told, this is the only meal I made in. So I had a, I had a personal chef while I was in prison. Uh, I never cooked; they cooked for me every day, three meals a day. But this was, this was my, my meal I made. So it's they like, got personal chefs in prison. I mean, I had a personal chef in prison. Lock me up. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, it's uh, not, not cheap. What I pay, twenty, twenty-five dollars a week. 25 a, week. 25 a week, three meals a day. Ian's cooking up some onion over here, cutting up some onion. Smuggle this one out of the kitchen. I this don't want morning. to see you crying. You know you, what happens to boys who cry in prison, right? Used to pay one mackerel for an onion and one mackerel for a pepper. And when I was working in the kitchen, I used to smuggle this out down my pants. Ugh, onions in your pants. Yep. Is that why your smells that way? That's what she said last <laughs> night. I was wondering. <laughs> I think you're really gonna be happy with this dish I'm cooking. My old Bunky's famous recipe. And what kind of nachos? What are, what, give me a name for this. This is gonna be a uh, beef and a mackerel nacho. Ian really likes his mackerel. You boys better step it up a little quicker here. Kosher dill chips. Mm. Ian, any reason you're using kosher? I am half Jewish. You heard it here first. So I did come into this competition today talking a lot of sh on TikTok. Okay. I pissed off a lot of people. That's I, fact. I am good That's at fact. pissing get, off hey, people. Hey, get your the microwave. Yes, Time's chef. up. Yes, chef. Time's up. Woo! <laughs> Woo! It's hot. Oh, you oh, burnt the, the oh, whole shit. bottom. Shit. Oh, we're having an issue. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. Oh, oh shit. This Fuck. Is, this is, is, here. Look at this. Look at man. this. He's destroyed oh, shit. his container. The this container is fucking just amateur hour. Oh, oh, that's going to cost you some points, bro. That's going to be a major setback. You know, you know what that tells me is you Fuck. didn't actually cook in prison. The dish is fucking ruined. <laughs> you didn't actually fucking cook in prison. Oh, Cliff is Fuck. calling you out. I mean, what am I gonna that's do? That's facts. This is amateur hour. What do you gotta, say to the allegations that you never actually spent time? 
This whole operation just got fucked up. Shit. I'm down Where's bad right now. Look at this shit. And he made a mess. I am down bad right now. I think we gotta put a tarp down during these shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you. All right, so Ian had a minor setback, burned a hole right through his plastic, but he's making headway, catching up to where he was, and Cliff, I'm curious at what you got going on here. I'm down and bad right now. Ian is making up his time now by rushing through, which I don't think is gonna affect how this tastes, but we'll see. Great. Italian uh, just some Italian seasoning. I think it's some uh, oregano. Going so, into the mic. Oh man, all right, all right. Call the fire marshal. I think I'm gonna need some red wine with what Cliff's making No doubt. Here. It's looking pretty doubt. fucking classy. Fire it up, need, uh, you know, back be, in this. When I, make this, when I make this at home now, it's cooked with some white wine. Look at how okay. that beef, there I, we go. Because I do make this at home. And you know, we don't use baby clams and oysters. We use lobster tail, shrimp, Ooh. and scallops. Ooh, they didn't have that in prison? They, nah, they didn't quite have that in, in prison. So we had, to, we, had to, we had to change up the, the recipe a little bit in prison. Now, guys, keep in mind, you're also going to be being judged on presentation. So, because last time, I pretty much ate two tubs of doo-doo butter, and I was not enthused. Ian, is this something you would make as well? I would have nachos every weekend for football weekend. Okay. You guys were watching football? Yep, every Sunday. Here we go. Thank you. Celebrity guest appearance like... by Colin Ray on set. <laughs> yeah, seafood medley. Seafood medley. Yeah, you know, Ian over here did some short time. He don't even know about this shit for real. <laughs> It did what, a little 18 months in a little fed camp? 27 months, sir. <laughs> Just need to heat this puppy up and I'm ready for service. Ian, what would your father say if he was here watching you cook this right now? He actually tried my prison nachos. We did a skit yeah, we, together. Yeah, we, all, we all saw, we all saw. And uh, it came out really good. He enjoyed it? He enjoyed it. I think this is gonna be one of my fine dishes and I really think I, I win this battle today. I have a lot of people depending on me. All my TikTok followers are rooting for me. And uh, I'm ready to bring home the gold on this one. That's your dish? It's my dish. Looks like fucking cat shit, bro. Bro, it's because I put fucking cat food in it. What, I wouldn't serve want? that. I can't get no real I wouldn't ingredients. serve that to a dead dog. Can't get any real ingredients. Tony, I wish you the best, my friend. Let's get an ambulance on standby. We are all out of time. Take a step back. All right, Cliff, we're going to start with you. I'm getting a lot of fishy aroma here. Why don't you show us your plate and tell us a little bit about it. So we went with an edamame fettuccine cooked in olive oil and Italian seasoning. Uh, put some whole oysters, baby clams, mackerel, and some salmon in it uh, with some cooked almonds on top. That is a high protein meal right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I gotta say, that looks heavy. I'm glad I'm only testing it. It does smell little pungent, but sometimes that makes for a delicious meal. I'm gonna dig right in and give you my review. Let's see here. First, we're gonna smell and have a look. For creativity, you use a lot of ingredients here. Pretty complex dish. Uh, presentation on this guy, I'm going high. We're gonna go with a four on this. Look, this looks like something you might get at a restaurant. We're gonna go with a four on creativity. Getting way more creative than nachos over here. Now for the part I have not been looking forward to, we're gonna taste this. Wish me luck, people. I'm gonna try and get a bite with everything in it. Oof. Seafood ain't my thing, bud, but. God damn, that's actually pretty fucking good. Mr. Bick, you're in trouble. Holy shit. I was terrified to taste that. Mm. I'm gonna get an almond in there. A little bit of crunchy. That's a strong, strong dish. I'm giving you a four on taste too. That's pretty good, guys. God damn. Give you a little. Thank you. Good Thank job, you. dog. Thank you. Thank you. Big Papa in the building. Let's go. Woo you got some tough competition there, bro. Today I made my Bunkie's favorite prison nachos, beef log, honey, sazon, mozzarella cheese smuggled out of the kitchen, onion smuggled out of the kitchen, topped it off with some pickles. Hope All you right. enjoy, chef.
if we're doing presentation here, I mean, it just, it's looking a little soggy, but it is nachos. How good can you fucking make nachos look? I'm gonna give it a four for presentation, which is a little high. Thank but you, I chef. feel bad because I ripped you last week. Thank you, chef. As far as creativity, once again, dog, what are we doing with the dipping? I'm giving you a two for creativity, man. Unfucking real, man. Well, come it's on. It's over with. Nachos? That ends it. It's over with. It's the easiest Fuck. thing you could do. Is it nachos? Oh. The whole nine yards on. Oh, it. we're a little soggy. Look at that. We're a little soggy. That's how you think. This was your bunkmate's favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Is this how you stayed in good grace? Yeah. Mm, look at that. You see that cheese? Mm, okay, I'm liking that. Look at that. Mm. Well seasoned. Mm. That actually tastes pretty fucking good, Joe. You guys are having fun in prison. I need to get me a charge, you heard? I'm trying to eat like y'all. Mmm. We're fucking it up with flavor, bro. This shit is good. And you're getting a five. You're getting your first five on taste. This is really fucking good. Mmm. Ian, you just gotta work on your presentation and creativity. You could be playing with the big ballers like Cliff soon. This does taste really good, though. You guys want some of this shit? Kyle, come here, Daddy. Let me get a bite. Come here. Oh, shit. I lost that Come piece. on, you gonna finger fuck every one of them? Don't you like yeah. that? Come here. Let me give you a nice little bitey. Come on, open wide, Daddy. Mmm. Pretty fucking good, right? See, MPA, I got a good prison palate. I was there for a while. That's something that you wouldn't make just, like, on a Tuesday. You make that for, like, the Super Bowl... Or the world series when a bunch of people are cooking because it's easy to make in a big scale. There's a lot of good ingredients enough. too. Yeah. Or, good. or you just pay a chef and you eat like that every day. <laughs> you just you just run a massive football gambling well, operation and pay someone to cook every day. When your daddy's a chef, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we have a clear winner here, and unfortunately, because I know I'm making this look good, it ain't the winner. Mr. Cliff. Are you fucking kidding? Did you? This is dish. fucking ridiculous. Listen, the game show was a good idea, but the ideas you're having on the show are not so good. I've lost two weeks in a row now. You know, I just want to say I'm sorry to the fans out there, to my family. I let them down again. I'm now forced to eat these canned baby clams. And a clove of garlic. I'm not letting you get away with not eating that. Cheers, mate. Oh my god. Mm. And I hope no girls sliding in my DMs tonight to hook up after this one. Oh, your breath is gonna be kicking. <laughs> Give me honors. We need a new judge. <laughs> Enjoy your garlic, dog. <laughs> Alright, cut it. I'm done. I, dude, this is. I got played.